Try to be quick. I don't fuck around. I don't fuck around, girl. So now we're back. Let's let's carry on. Okay. I don't think she doesn't seem the type, unless she's just got a lot of spare time. Lots of empty pictures. Mostly photos of a baby. There are a couple of Pauline and an ex. His face is missing on each of them. She wants to cut this guy out of her life so badly. Why don't she take these pictures down? Huh. Odd. I should let you know from the start that looking after a toddler is not an easy task. They're just beginning to crawl, they're very curious, and sometimes they can cry for no apparent reason. And my Alyssa, well, she has a very noisy child. Do you have any previous experience with children? Yeah, I used to babysit my neighbor's kids. Yes, that one. Yes, I used to babysit my neighbor's kids. Excellent. I know we all have to start somewhere, but it helps if you at least know the basics. I'd like to get back to work soon, you see. Just part-time for now. That's why I need someone to stay with her. I'm not going to find it easy to be apart from Melissa, but my career has always been important to me as well. Hmm. They won't wait for me forever. If I don't do this now, they'll just replace me. Where do you work? There just isn't enough support for working parents. Where's Alyssa? No, we shouldn't ask that. That's way too personal. Uh, where do you work? Where do you work? I'm a hotel manager. It's a very competitive hmm. industry, but I've always loved it. I miss it a lot. Isn't enough support for working isn't parents. Isn't enough support for working parents. Tell me about it. If I don't get back to work in two weeks' time, they will cut my maternity pay in half. Wow. So I haven't really got a choice. It's either this or Alyssa and me will face the life in poverty. I have a great connection with kids. I'm sure I can manage. I have a great connection Sounds with so kids. Sounds so rapey. I'm sure I can manage with Alyssa. Okay. I don't doubt that. How about. Would you like to hold Alyssa for a minute? We should probably see if she likes you first. I... Yes, definitely. But... I ought to wash my hands first. Your hands? My hands. I must have touched a million things on my way here. As much as I want to hold her, I just don't think it's safe, you know? Really? What have you been touching? Oh, you know, just... Ordinary things, this <sighs> and that. You look pretty clean. I'm sure it'll be okay. Well, if you must know, I... Just stroked a filthy looking dog. Volunteered at the hospital early today. Hugged a homeless man outside this house. I've forgotten to wash my hands after the toilet. Just had a bad cold. Volunteered at the hospital. I volunteered at the hospital earlier today. Oh, I'm impressed. We don't see many young people doing that these days. But you're right. As nice as that is of you, there's all sorts of bugs you can pick up in a hospital. It won't hurt to be extra careful. I'll show you to the bathroom. Would you mind answering the door for me? Who sure. The hell? No problem. It's probably just my friend Kate. Just let her in, please. Is that okay? The bathroom's this way. Follow me. Size of that TV. Your turn, Mrs. A. Seriously, do something. Anything. Fine. Make sure you scrub those dirty hands really well. I need a bit of time. Okay. Okay. No mission impossible. Okay. So nothing useful here. Blah 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 blah. Kitchen. Kitchen looks sparkling clean. Door open. Kate. Hello. Hi. Hello. Are you Kate? I've been sent by the agency. My name is Rita Tickle. May Rita I come in, Tickle. please? Agency? What agency? The Happy Nanny Babysitters Agency, of course. <sighs> we bring oh fun and professionalism into child minding at a discount price. May I come in, please? Wait, just hang on a second. I believe we have an appointment. It was confirmed by post. Didn't you get a letter? Hang on, I said. You yeah, bitch. I'm sorry, the position has already been taken. Wrong address. Beat it, four eyes. 
position has already been taken. I'm sorry. <laughs> the position has already been taken. <laughs> oh, right. Are you sure? Yes, yes, I'm fucking sure. I'm sure. Thanks for your time. See ya. Wait, wait, wait. There must have been some kind of mix up. No. no there wasn't a mix up. You're just too late. Bye. I'd better call the office and find out what happened. Okay. TV. Examine. That's a big TV. Yes, it is. Okay, baby. Oh shit, she's bad with baby's laptop. Use. I don't know the fact computers, I should leave it to Mitzi. It's Pauline's laptop. Bathroom door, examine. I can hear the water running, I must hurry, they could be up any second now. Photos. There's a lot of photos of Pauline and her ex. This face has been cut out on every single one of them. Scissors. Take. Why are we taking the scissors? Stupid woman leaving a baby right next to a pair of sharp scissors. So, was it my friend at the door? No, just some door-to-door -door salesman. Well, I hope you told him to go to hell. <laughs> I honestly don't know yes, what I these people did. are thinking. Yeah, me neither. I'm sure it's Kate this time. I'll let her in if you'll excuse me for a minute. Wait! I think I've got to turn the tap off in the kitchen. My hands still aren't really clean. No, no, that's just shit. I'm feeling really sick all of a sudden. I think I've got to turn the tap off. I think I forgot to turn the tap off in the bathroom. Oh, that's okay. Don't worry. Would you mind going back to the bathroom and turning it off while I answer the door? I got something in my eye. I feel sick. Let's do feel sick. I'm feeling really sick all of a sudden. Oh. Do you think you're actually going to throw up? Yes, definitely. Oh, yes. <laughs> Quickly go back to the bathroom. I don't mean to be rude, but this is a very expensive carpet. Will you come with me? Please. What if I faint? I, I'm scared. Oh Everything dear. Is just spinning around. Can Mrs. Ashworth go with you for a change? It's okay. I'll answer the door and let your friend in, yeah? Well... Fine. I'll put Alyssa in her bed for a minute and I'll come with you. You must have got some bag in the hospital after all. I would not put up with this bullshit if I was this woman. I'd be like, nope, chuck up in your own toilet. People are impatient, aren't they? You again. It's you. Again. Hello. Hello. Is this flight number eight? My name is Rita Tickle from the Happy Nanny Agency. May I come in, please? Look, sweetheart, I'm sorry I can't Look, help you. sweetheart, I'm sorry. I can't help you. You are looking for a nanny, yeah? No, not anymore. I have 10 years experience and training in child discipline <laughs> techniques and behavioural psychology. Also, I am known for good personal hygiene, strong work ethics, and I only take one break every five hours. Just to use the restroom. Wow, that sounds really great, but I don't need your services. You don't need a nanny. No. No. I've decided to give my baby up for adoption. <sighs> You're an evil person. <laughs> You'll go to hell for doing that to your baby. Yeah, I'm evil. But you're thick. <laughs> In so many ways. Oh 
Where's my gun now? I know what to do. Cut the cable. This is pure suicide. I don't do that shit anymore. There must be a safer way. Turn the switch off first. These scissors seem sharp yes. enough. Genius. Let's create some diversion. I hope this is what Mitzi had in mind. Nice one. Oh, not that again. What happened to the lights? I'm... I'm terrified of the dark. I... I, I, I can't move. Oh god, I can't breathe. Mitzi, Calm down, it's alright. Probably just that stupid mirror. It must have run out of money again. It's not even that dark. Please, you got to do something about it. I, th I think I'm going to faint. Get it together, Fine, Mitzi. just stay in my bedroom. There'll still be plenty of sunlight there at this time of the day. I'll go outside and put some money on the meter. It'll only take a minute. Ooh, playing with Mitzi. <sighs> right. Let's do it. Was that you, Mrs. Ashworth? What happened? Um, no idea. <laughs> Maybe it's a blackout. Like in the old days. It's probably just the meter. Let me see. So it's not her either. It's not her. Oh, it has to be Jesse. It has to be. It's time to leave. This interview is over. Why would anyone do that? I think we're going to go now. This whole power cut gave me a terrible headache. Is that you, Mitzi? Yes. Who else is it going to be? But we haven't finished yet. Who Have you that? changed your mind about the job? No, of course not. Who is that? I'm just scared of darkness. And I still feel sick, you know. Perhaps we can continue some other time. It's not that maggot bit, is it? I've had it. I'm getting a new fuse box. Was that you, Jesse? Yeah. How are you doing, Pauline? Well, I we need the power back. Can you do something? Yeah, I can easily fix that. There's an electrical stall that's open till late. I'll get some stuff and I'll be back before you know it. Bear in mind it's not just the fuse box, it's the cable this time. I'll get a new cable too, don't worry. But in the meantime, go home, find some candles and chill, yeah? Thanks, Jesse. That's <laughs> awfully nice of you. Well, it was great seeing you. But we're going to leave now. Who is that woman in the middle? Hello. Oh, for Who's fuck's that? sake. My name is Rita Tickle. Rita who? What the hell is going on here? Do you know this woman, Mrs. Ashworth? <laughs> I've never seen her before in all my life. Rita Tickle. <laughs> Rita Tickle. Now she'll think we are absolutely crazy. I wouldn't worry too much. You're not exactly the most popular neighbor in the house anyway. <laughs> Thanks. What? You don't actually care what those idiots think, do you? No. Of course not. Rita it's Tickle. just that Pauline seems all right. I'm not too proud of causing her all this trouble. It'll get fixed soon. Look, Jesse's gone out. We can now get inside flat <sighs> seven and see what he's been up to. Yes, we okay. can. Yeah, that sounds good. We can also cross Pauline off the list. I've searched through her internet history. <laughs> he is not and a dumb joke. to say there's nothing exciting there. Rita is not a dumb. <laughs> She's a spastic. Okay. Fourth floor, let's go. Let's go find what's on Jesse's computer. Take the lock. Now that he's gone, we can get inside. 
Yes, let's do that. I'll close my eyes and you pick that lock, Mitzi. Okay, but no peeking. I'd never. You've really hurt my feelings now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Now close them. She can't see anyway, it's dark up here. There, job done. Bitch works fast though, you know what I'm saying? Jesus, are these... He's... he's the murderer. He's the, he's the guy. Relax, Mrs. A. They're just Halloween masks. No. No, 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 no. Oh, he's good. gotta be the guy. That's good. This is the guy. Because I swear, if I see another bloody head... Take that. <gasps> what mask? Clown? No. Clown one. I hate clowns so much, I'd rather not take this mask. Looks like we're taking the hockey mask then. That's mask for our uh, outfit. None of these look illegal. Because they just look like plants. Speakers? This speaker is massive. Connected to Jesse's computer. Whenever he plays music, the walls must be shaking. Jesse's PC! Switch on. That won't work. It seems someone cut the power off. Huh. Socket. Jesse's, plug uh, Jesse's PC is plugged in here. If only you had access to a working electric. It's only this floor, right? I was just reading Save Your Game Before the Choice is in Chapter 7, so you can see all of them. What chapter is this? Um. Okay, well, we've got an extension cord, so. Nope. Okay, we could just six. Okay, we can just run it down out the window, right? So, who's got windows over this side of the building? Well, Joe Davis lives right below. I guess we could also check one flat below Joe's. I just hope the cable's long enough. Let's find out, shall we? Okay, so let's go to the bottom flat because there was a socket. It popped up and was like, "Hey, I'm a socket." So first floor. Oh, this flat is so creepy. There you go, yeah, it's, it's reaching down there. It's a cable, plug it in. Now we can use Jesse's PC. Oh, I'm so sure that he's the guy. I'm so sure he's the guy. I'm so sure he's the guy. Okay, let's do this. Right. I should be able to use that computer now. Could you give me five minutes, Mrs. A? Sure. Why not? I'll keep an eye on the door. Why didn't I just go in Joe Davis' house? I mean, flat, because I've got the key. Oh, fucking idiot. Well, let's see. Him either. Really? God damn it! That means it's either Joe or Brian. I can pry the uh, the can of paint open with the scissors as well. I, I got. Um, I should unplug this fucking extension lead. How obvious is that? Come on. Okay, let's go right down to the ground floor, get that tin of paint. I want to get revenge on that prick. He's such a knobhead. What's his problem with cats anyway? Oh, I can... 
you talking about? I can easily hang back. Hang back, yo. Oh, I can use the scissors on the dress to cut the uh, the dress. We need to make some adjustments. Oh, nice. Now this is a dress worthy of the cat widow. <laughs> Why don't you admit it was too small for you? <laughs> ha ha, bloody ha. Why don't you just shut up? Whoever <laughs> wore this dress probably hadn't eaten in years. You'd struggle to get a skeleton into it. Joe's wife. Mitzi, what's going on? So, what next? We should get into flat three. That Joe Davis could be our guy. It's time to go to flat three. And see Joe Davis, because there must be something in there that we can use to get get the can and paint open. Oh man, I'm nervous about this one. I am nervous about this one. Do you want to go in first? Fuck me, that's a small door. Come on in. The place seems empty. It looks pretty Watch normal. Watch out, Mr. Say. There's a massive hole in the floor. Just step around it. I'm not blind. Besides, I know it's there. We saw it from the floor below. Let's have a look around. There's got to be a computer here somewhere. I really don't like this place. Yeah. It's rather creepy. Yeah. Fuck. Bingo. This is him. We found what we were looking for. This, this is Garby here, Could like. be it, you know. Six, six, six. Maybe Joe is our guy after all. No, no. It's a disaster. The power lead is missing. It won't switch on. You got one. Right. What a shame. Can we go now, please? I think I've seen enough. I don't need any more trouble. No, it's okay. I've got an idea. It seems it's a similar model to mine. I'll just go back to the flat and bring my power lead. I don't know. You sure this is gonna work? I think so. At least we'll give it a shot. Just stay here and I'll be back in a second. Why don't we go together? I really don't like this place. Why don't we go together? I really don't like this place. You said you haven't seen this guy for ages. He probably doesn't even live here anymore. Relax. Nothing's gonna happen. I'll be back before you know it. I'll count to a hundred. If you're not back, I'm out of here. I will count to a hundred. If you're not back, I'm out of here. I'll be back before you get to seventy-five. Don't worry. Hey, I just remembered something that'll keep you busy. While I'm gone, think of a vegetable. What? Why? To keep your mind occupied. I bet I can guess which vegetable you were thinking of when I'm back. So you're a mind reader now? No. This is just a little experiment of mine. Okay, whatever. Now go. I'm counting already. Why do I always end up in places like this? Phone. Switch on. Power lead is missing. Okay, cool, great. Go in the door. If I wanted to, the doorknob is missing. Where's this phone? 
I'd rather not. It's extremely dusty and I'm wearing black. What a fancy chair. I usually see chairs like this. And the posh hotels in the country, which out her downfall was set in a hotel. Desk. Above the desk, the wall is covered with pages pinned to the wall. They look like handwritten letters. Disgusting rotten food is scattered on the table. Looks like someone made a meal and barely even touched it. Switch on. Remember the hole, Susan. Oh yeah. No, there's no point. It stopped ringing now. Well, if it was ringing at all, it was ringing. What you're talking about? Fucking out of here, mate. Damn. What? The door handle just came off in my hand. How am I going to get out of here now? Put it back on. It's pretty freaking simple. Mitzi. Mitzi. Mitzi, are you there? Mitzi. Shit. Put the door back on. How odd, it doesn't fit anymore. How am I going to get out? Phone. Remember the hole, Susan. Phone. Make a call. Remember the hole, Susan. What the fuck? Yes, I know. Can't you make a call? Call Susan's Remember phone. Remember the hole, Susan. Susan, not we know that the fucking fault. Jesus. Fucking hell. Okay, thanks for that. Let's turn the TV back on. Is it gonna do it again? Fucking hell, alright. What was even on the TV? I didn't even see that. Now the light's wobbling. What the fuck is going on? I have to do this. Is this the bathroom? Six is, three six is the number of the beast. Probably keeps mutilated bodies of his victims in there. On the other hand, I read once there were some other meaning to the three sixes too. Something really innocent. I can't remember now, it was a long time ago. And other, other things on my mind. What the fuck? I'm good. I'm good. I'm not going nowhere. I'm just going to stand here. Are you fucking serious right now? The water from the bath has completely flooded the bathroom floor. Not that I care, I just want to leave as soon as possible. Mannequin. Okay, a mannequin. In the bath. This guy is nuts, there's no doubt about that. Toilet. Examine. It's dirty like everything else in this place. Power lead. Supposed to be here. Excuse me. I told you, Josh. Why did you have to ruin everything? 
What have you done, you stupid, evil bitch? Who are you? Exactly, who the fuck? I'm sorry the door was open. I'm sorry, the door was open? I thought you moved out. You took her away, didn't you? What has she ever done to you? What? Look, sir, you are wrong. I just came here to find my cat. It's gone missing. Yeah, I see. That stupid cat. I've been looking for it too. The little bastard took off with my key. I'm gonna rip him to pieces. Where did I even find the key? My friend knows that I'm here, and she will call the police. And I've got a gun. He's American, isn't he? I can shoot you right there in your heart. It's not worth it, Joe. I've done you no harm. Of course, you haven't got a heart. Isn't that right? I... I have no idea what you're talking about. I'll just leave. Very slowly. I won't cause you any trouble at all, okay? Stay where you are, don't get any closer. Calm down, I go and we forget all about it. Um... Mitzi? Mitzi? Are you there? I need help! Where the hell are you? I tried calling for help too. No one ever comes. Just the devil. You are seriously freaking me out now. Tell cops all about the devil. I'm out of here. Get back here right now and give me that blasted key! I can't even remember where I found the key. In the cat. In the cat, yes, I found it in the cat. I've just fallen down the hole, haven't I? What the fuck? Came through here, devil. Devil came through here? Here. There what the fuck, man? Come on. This is... Says here. I'm gonna try this one. I don't read. Oh, okay. Devil. Okay, I just, I just have to open them up in order. Okay, that makes sense. Game through here. Afraid. I, I don't buy. Come in already. I might need your help with something. Fuck off. Bookcase. Mostly horror books on the shelves. More than half of them are written by Stephen King. I guess Joe is a fan. Speak to me. Chat. Talk to me. This bed is rather fancy. Reminds me of bed saving cheesy country hotels. I told you Joe is fucking insane. You need my help, I thought you went to kill me. You need my help. I thought you wanted to kill me. Why would I want to kill you? You must be mistaken. Who do you think I am? A man who paints on walls of blood. A self-obsessed schizophrenic wife killer. A complete psycho. <laughs> Let's just go with the most extreme. A self-obsessed schizophrenic wife killer. What? 
You thought I... No. No? No! I, I never hurt my wife. All this time I've been trying to save her. Well, fine. Let's say I believe you. Why wouldn't you? Look around you. This is not normal, okay? If you don't mind, I'll only trust myself for now. That's... As a that's... matter of fact, I'm not sure if I can trust even myself. Did another handprint just appear on the board? I swear it did. Where are we? Where are we? I really can't remember the name of this town, but I'm pretty sure the hotel is called Quiet Haven. This is a hotel? I know. It's a joke. They shouldn't charge half the price for this dump if you ask me. This is all just a dream, right? This is all just a dream, right? It's funny that you would say that. I've already heard that somewhere today. But if this is a dream, I've been asleep for a very long time. I'm sorry. It's one of the... I'm sorry. I just want to leave. Hey, yes, I understand. Guy. I wouldn't What's stay here on, myself man? if it was my decision to make. I'm stuck here too. You see, my wife Ivy is in the room to the left. She's a little fragile at the moment. Oh my god, his wife's here? She said she was going to do her makeup, but it's been a week now. Sounds about right. Maybe longer. Freaking Every time I try to talk to her, she just gets angry. And she tells me she's not done yet. I've cooked her a meal, but she ignores me. Thanks for it. likes what I cook. But what's that got to do with me? If you talk to her, I'll show you the way out. I promise. Just go in there and tell her. Tell her she looks fine. She's always so careful about looking perfect. Okay, okay. I'll see what I can do. Oh my god, right. Yeah, I haven't seen you around here before, the Watcher guy. How you doing, man? They're quite kind of near the end, I think. We're on the last, the last parasite hunt for the Eye of Adam. But this is pretty fucked up. So, yeah, stick around. Okay, this is his wife's been in that room for over a week. The typical, typical, typical woman fashion for doing the makeup. To be fair. So your wife's been in that room for a week. Now that you bring this up. I think it might have been a month. That's a very long time to stay in one place. She wants to look great. I guess it takes time, but we really have to go now. Yeah. I think there's a big storm coming. I feel it in my bones. Yeah, I think I'm quite near the end. Huh? Let's see. Goodbye, Joe. Goodbye, Joe. Something, someone's bled on this chair too. Yeah, yeah, I know. Joe and Ivy Davis are from Downfall. I played through that as well. Not on stream, but I have. I've played it before. It's pretty, pretty crazy. There are bloody handprints all over it. What the hell? That's his wife. Panel. The metal cover is tightly screwed in place. I can't remove it by hand. What have I got on me? Wardrobe. There's nothing special about it. Woman. Look at. Is this Joe's wife? Poor woman, this is horrible. Talk to. Hello? Is that what you said? Nope. <laughs> Fucking hell! Calm your tits. <laughs> Jesus. Fuck that shit. Right, um... Joe, your wife is fucking loco. Bye, Joe. Right, I'm out of here. Oh, I 
can't get out of here. Search, that option wasn't there before. There's a book called Misery. Stephen King, yeah, of course. Is that what she meant? It's a long shot. But I might as well try. Fuck me, I nearly had a heart attack. <laughs> Let's give her the book. Open. Screwdriver. I suppose a part of me expected a gun. Sure, this will come in handy. I can use this on the panel. There's nothing else I can use it on. What's on the panel? Left and right switch. Lifts. <laughs> it's alright for some. I didn't see it coming. Fuck me. <laughs> Let's start with the left switch. Okay. Right switch. Left, left, I don't even know. I have no idea what I'm doing. Reset it, let's go out and reset it. Okay, so left, left, right, right. Is it gonna make me jump again? position, which was, that was the default, so that's left, left, right, left.
Oh no, it's right, right. Right, right, left, right, okay. So let's go back to the default again. Yeah, sorry, I, I guess I'm looking the other way around. I'm such a freaking idiot. Okay, right. Right. Left. Right. I'm fucking sick of your shit game. Ugly wife, man. No. 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 No! This isn't yes. Ivy! This isn't my wife! It's the monster. It followed me here. It always follows me. No matter what I do. Look, I'm... I'm sorry. You must kill it. What? Why me? You still got that power lead, haven't you? The one you stole from me? How do you even know about it? You must use it to kill her. To strangle her. You're out of your mind. Do it. Strangle the goddamn creature so it never follows me again, or I'll shoot you right here, right now! I played the first one, so... I know. I'm, I've never seen what happens if you kill her, so I'm I gonna do it. I'm gonna kill her. Leave me no choice. Go ahead. Wrap it round her neck and pull it tight. Yes. There's no other way. He hasn't got the balls to do it. That is not a human. <laughs> I don't know. Let's try and strangle Mitzi. Did you just try to strangle me? No. Oh, God, no. I would never do that, Mitzi. I guess I... I must have panicked. I thought you were someone else. Look, I was gone for less than one minute. Really? Somehow it no, felt you fucking weren't. longer than that. At least you found the laptop cable. That's good news because I don't think mine will be any good. Let's see what's on this hard drive, shall we? So what? What about the bathroom? Like, what's? Was that the real bathroom? That was I a saw waste it. of time. Never mind. At least now we're sure it's not him. Let's just go. I don't want to spend another minute in this place. I think I know. There's a reference. Hey, did you think of a vegetable? What? A big I'd ask you to, to think him, of like a vegetable yeah. while I was gone. So. Did you? I... yeah. Sure. Great. Now don't tell me. Was it... A carrot? carrot? <laughs> yes, it's a carrot. It's amazing. How did you know? Yes. A carrot? That's amazing. How did you know? That's the secret. I can't tell you that, Mrs. A. Or else it wouldn't be a magic trick anymore. <laughs> Yay, it works every time. Okay, okay, don't get too big-headed now. Sure, but I am the greatest. Get out of town, Mitzi. Look, I only said it was carrot to be nice. In fact, I thought about celery. I wasn't going to say that you leave me no choice. <laughs> yeah, right. Yes. Now, let's go. Joe can come back any minute, and you don't want to meet him. Nice. He's not a nice guy. I've seen this bit before. I think it's... Oh no, it's not. Hold the fuck up. Brian?
No, why is it Brian? We've got a screwdriver now. Well, wait, what, what, what? We've got a screwdriver, so that means everything that just happened actually just happened. But she was gone for less than a minute. How is that even possible? I, I, I know what scene you're talking about. Watch her. I know exactly what you're talking about. And I, I know what it's from, but... Okay, let's go open the paint. Let's get the shit done. Let's kill that fucking... I knew he was an asshole to start with. I could easily prise it open with the screwdriver. Done! I can pick up the tin now. Okay. This is it. We've got all we need. Great! Are you going to tell me about the Cat Widow now? Yes. It's story time, Mitzi. Story time? The legend says there was once a bad man who hated cats. Don't tell me, don't tell me, don't tell he me. He hated his neighbours too, and his job. And when it rained, he'd curse and smash things. He hated his bald head and his weak, ugly body. He probably hated himself the most, although he would never admit it. I think I see where this is going. One day, out of pure hatred for the whole world and everything that lives, he captured a family of cats and drowned them all in the river. That day, the sun turned black and all the birds went silent as the six kittens struggled for life. But trapped in a strong canvas bag, they never had a chance. Mr. Spider. They all died that day. All I haven't seen you before either. One. The mother cat, in a desperate fight to set herself free, by pure luck, clawed her way out of the bag and swam to the shore. She lost everything that day. Her beautiful children and her proud husband. Her heart crashed into pieces as she watched their limp dead bodies stolen by the current. Running after them, she followed them for days, for as long as she could. Then... Eventually, she lost sight of them. She stayed on the bank of the river for a while. That's messed up. The world stopped turning for her. Her eyes empty and blind. And then, one day, she slowly slid down the bank and into the cold, dark water. She gave in to it. She let the river take her away too cover her mouth, her ears, her eyes. But as the water filled her lungs, and she started slipping into darkness, there was another strange feeling that burst in her mind like a ball of flames. Anger. Rage, even. Yes. Her last craving, before she drowned, was for revenge. For blood. And so she returned, reborn and changed, a cat widow, veiled in black, mistress of the cats. Her body of a young woman, but her eyes of a cat, and her face, white, rotten, face of a corpse, those who saw it rarely lived to tell the tale. She would get her revenge on all cat killers and cat torturers. But there was someone she had to see first. Someone special. Someone she really hated the most. As the evening came, it was strangely quiet in the man's flat. As he lived alone, he usually liked to fill the silence with the sound of radio or TV shows. But that night, he switched them all off, feeling anxious and tired after work. He tried to sleep, but couldn't. And for once, there wasn't anyone there he could blame for it. <laughs> As he stared through the window, he kept thinking about how much he hated that view. 
He liked it once, a long time ago, when his wife was still there and they were happy together. Suddenly, he heard knocking on the door. Some part of him was glad, because that meant he could take it out on whoever decided to bother him. It's gotta be this guy. It's gotta be this bloke. There was nobody there. He almost felt disappointed. But before he turned to walk away, he suddenly noticed something down the hall. I get to choose. Um, on a nearby wall, there was a giant shadow of a cat. He noticed a shadow of a cloaked figure standing ahead. A dead body of a disemboweled cat hung on the radiator. On the last choice, click the first option and it shows some funny shit. I'm gonna make I'm gonna absolutely traumatize this guy. Just let me know what the last option is so that I actually know. Dead body of a disemboweled cat. A dead body cat. of a disemboweled cat hung on the radiator. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Where would we get a dead cat from? <laughs> I think that would be taking it a step too far. I'm sure you'll agree. God damn it. Okay. Fair point. So, right, that didn't actually happen. Let's try again. God damn it. <laughs> he noticed a shadow of a cloaked figure standing ahead. He noticed ahead. a shadow of a cloaked figure standing ahead. Stopped again. Yeah, it's like 20, he couldn't 30 believe seconds. his eyes. Someone wrote cat killer on his door. There was a cat's skull stuck against the seat of his bike. Someone wrote asshole on his door. I wonder if we could do the cat's skull. Lost crown, huh? Okay, I'll look into that, man. There was a cat's skull stuck on the seat of his bike. But Missy's gonna say something. No? He had a passion for trains. Although he hated being a train driver, Giant he always enjoyed cats. watching them move. But now, his train model was moving all on its own. He was absolutely certain he'd left it switched off. And yet, there it was, running at crazy speed, remote control missing. Something was seriously wrong, and that something had entered his home now, too. <laughs> Three spooky five me. He hoped he was just imagining things, tired as he was. But there was another surprise waiting for him in his bedroom. A giant blood-soaked zombie cat sat on his bed. Zombie cat. A zombie giant, blood-soaked zombie cat sat on his bed. <laughs> now that's really stupid. Fair enough. <laughs> that didn't really happen. Well, everyone knows there's no such thing as giant zombie cats, right? What really happened was this. Cat Widow is here, was written all over the wall. <laughs> Giant fucking cat. Cat Widow is here. As in a dream, he went to the kitchen to get a drink. Getting really scared now, he decided to call the police. Mm. Get a drink. As in a dream, he went to the kitchen to get a drink.
There was no water. He knew there were valves in the basement that turned it off, but no one's been down there for years. Oh. He felt he turned sick. it off. None of this made any sense. And yet, deep down, he knew what he did to the cats was wrong. Yeah, there was a part of him bastard. that almost wanted to be punished. The part he tried so hard to hide. He thought he'd heard something in the corridor. Was there someone there with him? Ooh, a spooky shadow. His head was spinning. He felt ambushed, trapped, like an animal. He had to get out of there. Getting really scared now, he decided to call the police. Getting really scared now, he decided to call the police. His phone was of no use. The SIM card had been removed, and that wasn't even the worst part. There was a photo Thanks, man. of a black cat set as screensaver. He remembered huh. this cat. He'd watched that strange pest man put it in a cage and into his van. He'd looked at it through the window for a while, then pulled the curtains and went to bed. Yeah, thanks, man. He stopped, paralyzed. He'd heard something right in front of him. A whisper. More like a... She was there, awesome. in the dark corner of his living room, waiting. waiting. Black veil covering that pale, dead face. And yet, he could almost feel Cat Widow's eyes piercing through him. Yeah, but Joe, the moral of the story is that he's an absolute prick and deserves this anyway. So, you know. And, uh, yeah, cool, man. Follow me. Thanks, Mr. Watcher Guy. That's cool of you. That's cool. The cat with aim with shotgun at his chest and fired. No. We can't kill the guy, can we? Can we? She came closer, like a ghost, and swiftly removed the veil. I don't know, what one should we do? I don't know, is murder a bit much? I mean, he's kind of got his own life here. He's a bit bitter, but he's got a cool TV and he likes his little train sets and whatnot. Should we really kill him? If he's the fifth parasite. Yeah, okay. She came closer, like a ghost and swiftly removed the veil. He doesn't back down, does he? She came back for him, to take him to the river, to make him pay for what he'd done. As he looked into her eyes, he could feel the world spinning around him, his knees go weak, his pants suddenly wet around his crotch. <laughs> Pussy. As much as he hated life, he didn't want to die either. Inside, he was just a big, stinking coward. And then, he fainted. <laughs> this guy. <laughs> <laughs> Did you see his face? I knew he'd fall for this. Yeah, we scared the living shit out of him. Now that's teamwork. Are you sure he won't know it was you, though? Oh, he probably will. Once he's had time to think about what happened. But he's too proud to ever admit he's been beaten by a woman. I know him just about enough to know that. Let's hope so. I don't want you to get in trouble because of me. No. That was something I had to do for myself. <laughs> and I feel much better for it. The only problem now is that we still haven't found Eye of Adam. Because it definitely isn't Brian. I've searched what? through his laptop and all I found was a load of porn. 
<laughs> Let's cross him off the list. Who is it? It can't be us. Who would know if it's us? Who is it? Well, that means we've checked everyone. We've hit moved? a brick wall. Perhaps I was wrong. Maybe he doesn't live here at all. I think we need to sleep on it. And we might get some more ideas in the morning. Shall we head back home? Yeah, I do feel tired. You're right, we need some sleep. Really wish there was an elevator in this building. <laughs> that was a note. What's that? A note? What does it say, Mrs. A? Joke plus, plus twist, it's Susan. You will <laughs> not believe it. Meet me at midnight, both of you. I will wait. Flat five. Door will be open. Do not fear. The old man? Eye of Adam. The old man. Flat five. That's the old guy. Can't be. It can't be him. I guess we'll find out. At midnight. We've got a few hours until then. Let's get some coffee. Old guy. Oh yeah, creepiest scene in the world inbound. It's just you and me, my love. No one will find us here. Joe, you have problems, son. Where the hell are you? Look. Stop worrying, Ivy. It will be all right. She needs to go to Weight Watchers. I love you. You know that. I'm gonna make you all better. <coughs> oh, she just doesn't sound very happy, Joseph. That was a big throwback to Downfall there. You wouldn't really get that unless you played Downfall. Don't feed the troll. Oh, I guess I'm back in the fields of... Can you fucking not, mate? I was gonna do the last bit of this separately, but fuck it, we'll finish it off. What? Okay. I'm just gonna very quickly restart the stream so I can separate it into chunks for YouTube. I will uh, just gonna set it off, it'll be like five seconds. But my god, what the fuck? Old oh, man, are you serious?